Good Sunday morning, everybody. It's me. I'm just getting ready to fix me a little shake. I'm not cooking. I just want to say good Sunday morning. Hope that you either on the way to church or at church or getting ready to go to church, get ready to find something for Sunday dinner. I don't know what we're going to do around here just yet, but I'm going to do me a milkshake here. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So hold on. And I'll show you what I got going on with my Sunday morning smoothie. It's not actually a shake. It's a smoothie. Okay, I got strawberries. As you can see, I already got my strawberries in there. And I've got some, uh, let's see what, lactose-free, fat-free milk uh, in there. I've got a half a cup of milk, half a cup of strawberries. And I've got some uh, cantaloupe and um, what do you call honeydew in there. And a pack of stevia. And my strawberries. And that's, oh, some oatmeal. About a fourth of a cup of oatmeal I'm putting in there just for a little extra oomph. So that's going to be my breakfast this morning. Haven't figured out what we're going to do for dinner yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up in my neutral bug, of course. And it's, oh, I've got my, this is my little cinnamon jug, and that's my turmeric jug. So got a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of cinnamon, about an eighth of a teaspoon of each. Y'all know I always use that. Okay, so all I do is like, I've got ice in there. I'll, I put nuts in there. I, don't know, I think I might have filled it too full to put the nuts. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can drink some out. You know what? I'm going to leave it as it is because I got the oatmeal in. Okay. Okay. There goes my Sunday morning breakfast smoothie, y'all. So, until I decide what I'm going to fix for dinner, I'm going to say toodles for a few minutes. Love you guys. Hope y'all having a blessed Sunday morning now. Can y'all see how pretty and healthy? I just want y'all to see how pretty and healthy that look. It's frothy. It's really, really good. And just to say, oh, by the way, I feel pretty good this morning, too. I'm doing my uh, breakfast and, of course, my meds. And, um, oops, oopsie, and I'm tearing stuff up here in the kitchen as well. But anyway, just to let y'all know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know what? Each day I feel stronger and stronger. And it's due, of course, to my surgery and to the fact that I'm rest. I'm getting the needed rest, the rest that I wasn't getting before. And also um, relaxation. You don't realize how much you don't rest or relax until you actually rest and relax. I feel like now, whew, I miss out on a lot of rest and relaxation. Not that it was, it was all good. It was like, what, for the last 70 years I've been doing it. So now the lifestyle change kicks in and i think this is going to be good y'all uh you know the word of god tells us that before we do anything in this life it has to enter in our, into our minds and so it is entering into my mind that i have to pull way back on some stuff and that's what i'm working on so it's gonna be a journey so y'all stay on this journey with me hopefully you'll learn something it'll help some people enlighten some people educate some people whatever you glean from it as long as it's something positive, let's say praise the Lord. So, again, um, I'm just coming in now just to show y'all what I'm doing here for breakfast. And I'd be remiss if I left and didn't say, let's send up prayers, of course, um, <clears throat> over these airwaves to all our sisters and brothers who are still going through anything. Uh, we know we've had some um, some uh, domestic violence type things. And we've had some things going on overseas. So, let's pray, pray for those people in those areas who are going through uh, politi political things and just things right into your home, into your health, because I've certainly had some health issues. So let's just continue to pray for each other and keep each other lifted up. And you know what I'm finding more and more is the more honest we are with ourselves and with others, the easier our life is. Now, I don't know, some people might find it hard to be honest. It takes more effort, I think, in terms of you know, just uh, taking responsibility for whatever it is you're doing. You know, be responsible or be accountable. And it's not so hard after all because when a day is and it does settle, the truth is going to set you free because a lie will keep you going to the next lie, but the truth will end it all and you can stand on the truth. So I don't know where that came from, but anyway, it just popped up out in a little bubble that I just wanted to say to you all. And, of course, we're still thinking about that reconciliation. I can't tell you enough 
how many people I've encountered, even since I've been sick, who are in need of reconciliation. And I do hope and trust that you're still considering it. If it's something you even think you need in your life, go ahead and consider it and, you know, broach that situation and go ahead and get it out of the way. And again, as always, thank you all so much for supporting me. Um, I, I'm trying to get on there. I'm sure a few of y'all can see I've answered a few comments and I'll be doing that here and there as time goes on. But for right now, I'm just going to continue to take it easy and uh, do what I need to do to get back 100% into whatever this new lifestyle change is going to be. I'm going to be doing some um, changes that I think y'all will like and some things that y'all say, hmm, okay. All right, but anyway, we'll get into that later. But for right now, we're still on this journey, uh, this hell hearty journey. And of course, we're just in the first week. So it's very, very um, new, very, you know, the premature stages, but nonetheless, hang in there with me, and thank you all uh, to those of you who have gone through a heart surgery, a heart situation, that you're sharing your situations with me, because I don't know what to expect except day by day, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a hands-on, or do-it-yourself, uh, learn how to do it as you go through it type person, but certainly the people who have shared your experiences it explains, it helps to explain some things. I don't have to go home about everything that I go through. Um, and let me just say this, uh, you know, people, and I don't know why, but sometimes when you go through a bad situation, and I'm sure it's just a human nature thing, people have the expectation that the worst has happened. Or maybe it's just that people think, you know, you hear say a heart attack, they think, whatever they know about heart attacks should have or is going to or could have happened to you. But let me just say this. For me, y'all, when I went into that uh, operating room, honey, let me tell you, I learned the first two verses of Psalm 91, uh, and I must have wore it out. Every time they stuck me with a needle, every time they uh, uh, cut a hole or did whatever they did to get them holes in my body, honey, I was treading the line, the young line, the adder, the serpent, honey, every time I used it over and over, every single time that I went through. And let me tell you, when I tell you that today, almost two weeks ago, my body is not sore, it is not aching, it is not hurting, I'm, t I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, um, my body is weakened. I was like, I mean, good Lord, what, uh, you know, three bypasses. But when I tell you my body does not feel sore, my staples came out before I even got home, so I don't have to go back to get the staples out. I mean, that might be par for the course, I don't know. Uh, at this point in time, I haven't had the after-surgery in-depth talk that I want to have yet with my surgery. But I think I'm doing darn good, and I think one, I, I, no, not I don't think, I know that the Lord walked me through that operation. I had that, I had no, I went in without any doubt. I, I didn't go in with any apprehension from the time I had to make the decision to have the surgery to today where I'm talking to you. I had and have no doubts about anything concerning the surgery because I thought I was kidding with the, with my daughter, I said, you know what, y'all know how I am, I'm, it's like this with me, and I mean, to me, it is a, it's a relationship with the Lord thing for me, I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking about nobody but me, that to make a decision to have a surgery, I don't care if it's getting a tooth pulled, or toenails clipped, or have a bypass surgery, it is something that you have to go into with a positive attitude, a positive um, mindset, and that is what I did, and I think for me, it has paid off well, it continues to pay off well, I'm telling you, I didn't, you know, well, what if, I didn't do the what if, and oh, what might happen, and all this, because I thought one or two things was going to happen, and I always uh, keep, um, uh, tease my kids about it, because I have a bottom partial in my mouth teeth partial so I always told them when I went to surgery you know when I when they wheel me out that door have my partial ready to pop into my mouth I said don't let me lay up there and be you know how 
when you come up out of a sleep, you yawn, you open your mouth, and there, and my my posture happens to be in the bottom, praise the Lord, if that ever happened to me. But uh, <clears throat> I don't want to see seeing those bare spaces in my mouth, so I always tell them, look, I don't care, honey, if you have to jump up on that or gurney, get over there and get my teeth in. So we always have that joke. And so when you go through, you know, really serious life-threatening type surgery, I say, you know, and this time around, I said, one or two things was going to happen. After this surgery, I was going to let I'm be telling y'all, and that was the first thing I said, uh, where is my, where my partial, get my partial in. Or if I didn't make it through the surgery, obviously, I wouldn't be here to say anything. But one thing about it, I knew I would see Jesus if I didn't. So either way worked for me. So praise the Lord. I'm alive and well on the men. Looking forward to many, many more years here on this earth. Or uh, doing the same, whatever I can for the name of Jesus and for the kingdom and for my friends and for my family and for the people that I encounter on a daily basis. And, and you know, we always talk about um, making the best memories, and that's what I still try to do. Make the best memories while you have the opportunity. So when you're no longer around, uh, your loved ones and your friends can say, you know, I can remember when. So, anywho, let me get over here and get my shake going before it gets uh, warm. It'll be a warm shake if I don't stop talking. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit later because I'm probably going to fix something for dinner, but I haven't decided what just yet. So, uh, when I figure out what it is that I'm going to have for dinner, I will come back and tune in and let you know. So, Love you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for encouraging me. Thanks for all those messages. Oh, I've just got, I'm, and, I, and, I, and that just brings me out when I wake up after I've taken a nap. Y'all yeah, believe that I'm taking naps now. So I'm taking a nap. I wake up and I, I read a few comments. And in some cases, I go ahead and uh, try to answer a few. So that's one of the other things, you know, just pacing myself and not trying to do so much. So I love you. I love you. I love you. I continue to do what you do. Continue to pray for each other without ceasing. And until I come back, uh, maybe to talk about dinner later on, I'm going to say toodaloo. Love y'all. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down.